Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek and I'm working for the company iCare. In this video tutorial I will show you new functionality on the CSI 2140, more specific the wireless communication. This wireless communication is available in the firmware version 1.3.2 or higher. What you're seeing now in front of you is a home screen of the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. And here are two new icons, you see them here amplified. An icon that indicates the status of the Bluetooth connection and an icon that gives you the status of the wireless connection. First of all, let's explain a little bit the icons more in detail. For the wireless icon, the icon can be or this model or this model. If it's this model, it means that you try to connect to a normal network. This icon is for ad hoc network. If it's grey, the icon indicates that the wireless radio is on but not connected to anything. Blue, the icon indicates that the wireless radio is on and has successfully connected to the network. Red, the icon indicates that the wireless radio had an authentication encryption failure when connecting to the network and similar for the ad hoc. For the Bluetooth, grey, this icon indicates that the Bluetooth radio is on but is not connected to anything. Blue, this icon indicates that the Bluetooth radio is on and has successfully connected to the Bluetooth device. Red, this icon indicates that the Bluetooth audio streaming is clipping and that the customer either needs to change the gain or remove the signal. Inside the AMS Suite Machinery Health Manager, you have to run version 5.6 or higher. In the CSI 2140 data transfer configuration, first of all, make sure that the wireless communication is checkmarked. And now let's see what we have to configure on the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. We are now in the home screen of the analyzer and the first thing to do is go to F5 COM setup and here go to F1 set connect port and select the wireless from the list, press enter to continue, then go to F8 wireless setup and select the wireless networks from the list that you want to see. Click F7 to connect to this selected network and enter the security key from your wireless network, so your wireless network password and press enter. If successfully connected, blue wireless icon will be displayed and press back. Now go to F4 wireless network setup to configure network settings of the unit. Here please select DHCP enabled, default and recommended or disable DHCP and enter network information manually and enter. Now go to F6 set host info And here configure host name with F4 set host name. Configure IP address with F5 set IP address and F6 set host port keep default. Press enter to continue. You are back in this screen but now the host information is completed. Press enter. And now the date collector gives you an information that you have to reboot before those changes can take effect. So restore the analyzer. And now I'm in the home screen of the analyzer again. When starting the analyzer, after a moment, and that can take between 10 and 30 seconds, 
you will see this icon become blue so he will connect automatically to the wireless network now we will show you how to do the communication we will show it in the root mode but the principle is the same for the job modes so press F8 to start the root In the root communication management, you can initiate the communication with F7 Connect for transfer and connection is now established and click load root and then you have to enter a name. So first of all F3 edit user and enter here an MHM username that you have configured in the MHM software for example user1u1 go to F4 edit password and enter the password from the software if password is blank in MHM this can be skipped now to avoid that you have to enter username and password over and over again for every time that you want to do the communication you can also store a login and assign an easy recall on this so the first step is that we will now store this login with a four digit pin so go to F12 store login and enter a four digit pin for example AD, APDS enter and communication is now fully established now so next time when you do the communication you can still choose to enter the username and the password or you can recall a login and use the key that you just have specified we are now at the end of this video tutorial thank you for watching this tutorial for more information about iCare and our products, please visit our website or drop an email to one of the following emails. Thank you, have a nice day.